Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Kevin Holmes with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for Thursday, April 2nd. On both sides of the state line, the number of confirmed cases continues to rise. Kansas has 557 cases with 13 deaths. Missouri has more than 1900 cases with 28 deaths. The state does not have a statewide stay at home order. The governor was asked about that on Thursday. As of today, why have you not issued a statewide stay at home order and you are still sticking with the order to social distance and keep gatherings at less than 10 people? Yeah, because that order was done two weeks ago. When we did that order, we said we would evaluate that at the end of that order. And that time is coming and we're in the process of doing that tomorrow. I hope to be able to give some more details on that. But I think it's also important to understand when you're the governor of the state of Missouri and you try to do a statewide order, our state is so diverse for every segment of the state is different. And it's very difficult sometimes to just to put a blanket order in, in place. And then when you start looking at the exceptions that you're going to do or what is the essential businesses are there, because they differ from whether you're in a big urban area, whether you're in rural area. So we're working on that. We're going to figure out uh, a solution that hopefully we're going to be announced more. In Missouri, people are having trouble getting jobless benefits as well as in Kansas. Our team coverage begins with 41 Actions reporter Sarah Plake. The number of unemployment claims to the Missouri Department of Labor has dramatically shot up. It's now at about 104,000 when just a couple weeks ago it was only at 4,000. A lot of people have the same issues. They cannot get through on the phone and even if they file online, they are having issues working out some troubles if they need to edit something or if they typed in their password wrong and there's nobody to help them. The Missouri Department of Labor said that they are adding additional staff to man the phone lines and try to help increase uh, their service online to take care of some of these issues. They know that the majority of that 104,000 is COVID-19 related. A lot of people are in the same boat. A lot of these business owners might have to be looking to apply for unemployment. The best way to do this is to go online to the Missouri Department of Labor website and put in your application there. I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. The same for Kansas as well. Both state leaders urging you to stay on the line if you're calling. If not, make sure you take full advantage of their websites. Gary Lezak, take us home with the forecast from your home. All right, Kevin. Hey, thanks a lot. Good evening, everyone. We're looking at 42 degrees by 4 o'clock in the morning, dropping to 33 degrees. A cold rain, maybe even a thunderstorm in the colder air tomorrow, and then back up to 36 degrees by the end of the day. It's going to warm up next week up to 80 degrees by Tuesday, but a cold blast is moving in. Remember, you can get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.